Well, I always do this. I forget to uh, record it as I'm coming at it. But here I am. If you look down here, um, you can see. Well, I hope you can see. It's weird. The kind of the shadows make it weird. But you can see here, uh, swale line. So this right over here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little piece of yarn going across in front of me, marks out property line. And then I came through and used the level to find the topo line. And I basically just went as high as I felt like we could reasonably capture water on the land, which is, as you can see, just maybe 20 feet off the property line. Um, this is a little node on this hill that kind of pokes up and it comes off of that and levels right here. It's not exactly a proper key point. The actual key point on the on the property is uh, over there. Key point being the uh, basically the highest point you can capture water where where the hill comes from doing that into like leveling. Um, so although technically the key point is up over there, it's the terrain is too jacked. It's just basically useless to me. I mean, unless we were going to get in and like excavators and stuff. But anyway, I don't think it's not the right plan. The investment and in return is just no good. Um, so we're coming down off this nice gentle slope. Uh, levels out right here and with this what is that maybe yeah, i don't know maybe you know 30 meters of swale line or so and capture almost this whole ridge um it does keep going back there past where our uh swale line goes but it we do a pretty good uh job of anything coming off this way is going to hit this swale and uh Hopefully, I, I hope to be able to capture some water. So that's where we are. Obviously, we've already done. There's been a few days of digging. Doesn't look like it necessarily because the leaves keep falling back down onto us. But um, this being accomplished, then this space here, just under the swale line, is garden. We'll have a nice little, just a family garden style. Uh, Still trying to, you know, cling to permaculture. So we'll do basically what I'm imagining as a few just fruit tree guilds along here. Um, we'll have a berry line that runs on the uh, swale line. And then just uh, we're going to drop fruit trees um, just on. So here's our line. We'll just, you know, we'll drop the fruit trees just right over here. So getting watered by it. And uh, then... Well, actually, we'll probably pull that out, put the tree over here so that we can do all companion planting in between. Um, a lot of that's going to be spring, of course, but we will be doing the um, tree planting probably just in the next month. I'd like to see some water accumulation before I start investing in trees, but we'll see how it goes. I might just get excited and plant them anyway. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for checking in. Hey, I never say this, but like, we've got like a few subscribers now, not a ton, but um, over 20, which is kind of cool. And I wanted to thank you for uh, sticking with me. And um, But the real shout out, I'd like to ask you all to, I hate to say the words, like, subscribe, comment, do the things. First of all, if you like the videos and you hit the like button, it makes me feel very nice. It's very encouraging and uh, motivating, not just for making videos, but for the work we do out here. But also, and more importantly, I am really passionate that permaculture can save our world. It can save, it can solve so many of our problems that I really want people to be aware and not just aware that it's a thing that happens, but people should be aware that like you can grab a shovel and go out in your yard and start reconfiguring towards 
permaculture ideas towards a a 10 year self-sustaining plan. And when I say that, I don't mean self-sustaining, like I can sustain myself from the land, but that you can be hands off for 10 years, walk away from the system for 10 years and come back and find a garden with vegetables and fruits for you to enjoy. Nobody can say that in a traditional garden. That's not how it works. Um, it's year over year over year. Do it, do it again, do it again. It's not the subject of this video. The point is, subject of this video is we're actually digging out this swale line. But what I'm trying to say is, if you like, if you subscribe, if you share the content, if you comment on the content, that will bolster the ratings or you know what like i say it's not about me it's about go do that to some other per permaculture uh video or whatever but my point is i really want to get the word out there that it's not something that is like you have to have a hundred thousand dollars or pay somebody you know ten thousand dollars to uh design for you you could just get started with a shovel and some seeds you know um start looking at systems you can put in that are 10 years hands off grapevines great example i love berries i love grapevines uh fruit trees just start thinking in those terms and stick with us and you'll see hopefully we'll get some good uh we'll get some good progress and uh I, i'm really hoping believing that come uh, at the very least come springtime you'll start to see how a jerk with a shovel can really make a lot of progress. So even more important than liking, subscribing, com uh, commenting, sharing, any of that is do it yourself. Go do it yourself. This is me pointing at you. Go do it yourself.